G'day watchers, welcome back to the channel and to this video where I'm going to go through this fascinating product. Now, this uh, I've laid out all the parts in this kit here that you can see here, but uh, let me just show you the box uh, quickly. Uh, this is the Hebe GBs Constructor Clock 10 Minute Build. Uh, and you can see here it's rated age 6 to 10 and indeed this was a Christmas present to my six-year-old boy who uh, um, you know he he found it really fascinating this is really up his alley he's, he's got a mechanical bind but you know what this was very interesting for me as well because it really does clarify a few things uh, to me as to how a mechanical timepiece works and you know this really covers all the basics that you need to know and uh, you know going to the back here it also taught me a couple of things uh, so if you look at uh, the writing you know the clock is one of the oldest human inventions um, used to measure intervals of time uh, it says here pendulum clock basically a swinging weight uh, using the timekeeping element was invented in 1656 by Huygens uh, and it was Galileo who noted that pendulums tend to swing at a speed determined by the length of the pendulum and resist it swinging at any other speed which is which is what we call isochronism and other horology term there so you know that's really quite interesting another uh, fact here you know really pendulum clocks were the dominant uh, method uh, for nearly 300 years until quartz clock was invented in 1927 now that is further back than i uh, knew i thought it was a bit later than that so 90 years of history of quartz timekeeping now of course wristwatches were a bit later uh, but clocks 1927 so there we have it uh, so i'm going to put that uh, box uh, at the back there for reference now uh, over here of course you see the empty uh, case uh, which is transparent it will let you see uh, the gears turn as we do the uh, the assembly and afterwards when it runs so i'm just going to do the assembly now and uh, you know let you see how it uh, goes through and you know puts this mechanical timepiece together uh, before that just a quick look at the instructions you know same type of uh, uh, descriptions and then interestingly as well uh, parts lists you know things that i've learned um, as i went along here you know the, the parts uh, of a mechanical movement uh, and then it goes through to the step-by-step -step instructions with color-coded wheels. So I'm just going to put that aside. All right, so first thing, of course, uh, just take away the faceplate. So this is the empty case, and uh, the first thing is uh, putting in this mechanism, uh, which is part of the uh, winding lever. They call this a pole. So just put it in there, and I'm going to put that lever in here. Okay, and as you can see, that prevents it from going backwards. So that's the lever there. Uh, this is where the mainspring sits. Of course, you're not gonna see the whole thing, but you can see little bits of it uh, over there. So it's it's housed in this uh, convenient casing so that you know a six-year-old boy doesn't need to handle a mainspring. Probably that's a potentially dangerous thing, actually. Okay, and I'm just gonna put the other cogs in here. So that's that's the main um, cogs there for uh, most of the, the the escapement mechanism. So as you can see there, I'll wind it up. Right, it, it turns faster and faster and faster until you get to the actual escape wheel. So that's the escape wheel at the top there. Um, and after we put in the pendulum, you will see that this is the wheel that is stopped from. Uh, releasing the energy of the mainspring. This is where it is basically the pallet fork. This thing sits to stop that from turning, to stop the mainspring energy from releasing. Uh, so, you know, that's where the word escapement comes from. This is where the energy is allowed to escape. Uh, of course, in this clock, it's a pendulum uh, that oscillates to turn that fork. Uh, and I'll show you that in action later. In a wristwatch, uh, it's not a pendulum, right? It's, we don't have pendulums. We have an oscillator. So I'm just going to show an example here. So this is my Ingersoll Lawrence GMT. So over here you can see that oscillator, which is the balance wheel and the hairspring turning away there. And if you look at, if you look at that little gap, eh, I don't know if I can bring that through. Right, there's a little, there's a wheel that's turning there. 
and that is essentially the same thing as what you see on the clock here that is an escape wheel same as that white wheel over there all right so fascinating to see how that translates through so that's the escapement part there now i'm going to work on uh, now the the uh, main uh, timekeeping display here so first thing to note is that this is an interesting here so this is the main uh, spindle uh, cog here and there is a slip here right you can actually turn that independently of that main center wheel this thing connects directly to the main spring cog and the, the reason why this can slip is that it allows you to adjust the time uh, without having to turn uh, the main spring cog and, that, and that's an important feature of course and then the other thing to note as well is that there is a little complication there is an uh, quarter hour chime so let me just put that together so that's the bell okay, and there we have it there's a quarter hour quarter hour chime mechanism here it's not really ringing at the moment but that's that's how it will work you know this turns in the same rate as the central minute hand and as it goes around every quarter hour you will get a little chime so you know interesting how they worked in uh, a little complication as well okay so I think that's pretty much all the internal parts you know you can see I've used all the gears uh, that I've you know, laid out outside here so the now ready to put the face of the clock on and there we have it so first thing to lock in is the mainspring little cover here okay and there we have it so as i turn it all right check out how that escape wheel turns at a faster rate all right now just put on the time display here so hour hand followed by minute hand and then put that cover on top and again that slip mechanism in the central spindle allows me to adjust the time right and it, it, right now it's not escaping at all um, uh, the escape wheel is being freely spun here but if it was being stopped by the pendulum, this allows me to adjust the time independently. So let's go ahead and uh, assemble the last bit here. So this bit here, I'm going to put this yellow connector. Okay, so let that go through. And just to show you, what you want to do is put uh, the pallet fork. All right, so right there. So now that's interacting with that escape wheel and then this is the I guess the secure uh, bracket that holds it in place right so there we go so right now if I wind it up right it's not going to run because now that pallet fork is stopping the escape wheel from uh, turning and now I can demonstrate that you can actually still adjust the time independently because of that that white cog in the middle that slips against the black cog right so you can do that independently here and you can see that quarter hour chiming away there okay last bit is of course the pendulum okay so let's just put that together now one thing to note is that uh, this pendulum it, you can actually regulate it you can, you can actually put it to different lengths there if you can see that little uh, construction there right you can take it apart put it in a different length if you find that the clock is going fast or slow so you know nice little touches all over the place uh, so this one's pretty simple you just put it through these two uh, interactions here put a fastener on top and then a second fastener at the bottom here and that's the pendulum so as I wind it up and there we have it that's the clock ticking away there and this 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 uh, clock ticks at uh, one and a half hertz and you can hear that ticking it's, it's more more than just a typical tick tock of a grandfather clock it ticks at one and a half hertz okay so hopefully you find that to be a fascinating um, just demonstration of horology 
how a mechanical timepiece works. Certainly that has been immensely interesting to me. Uh, thank you guys uh, for bearing with me. If you enjoy my videos, uh, do consider subscribing. Uh, I learn new things about horology all the time and I share right here on the channel weekly content aiming to be as objective and unbiased about horology as far as possible. Thank you again for watching and as always I will catch you guys next time.